What's up everyone? This is Karan here back with another video. Welcome back to Tech Karan YouTube channel. So finally the wait is over Mi A12 20.6.17 nightly which is actually the China closed beta update officially available for Redmi Note 8. As you can see this one is Mi A12 20.6.17 nightly build. It's just released today one or two hours ago and we've installed it on our Redmi Note 8. It is a China closed beta which means it has some bugs. It's not recommended for some normal users to install it because it has some bugs and a lot more things. Also there are some new things. Make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started right now. So we are at home screen so first of all as it is a Chinese closed beta which means you will get a lot of Chinese apps these as you can see in more apps you get a lot of Chinese apps me financial QQ browser pre-installed some other Chinese apps available here too but one of the major thing which is fixed in this build because this is official one so which means it's smooth enough no lags at all fluid animations talking about the recent animation talking about the app opening and app closing animation all the animations are pretty much smooth which was expected and it's perfectly fine talking about the control center that's also perfectly fine no lags at all and it's super duper fast as you can see just simply swipe down and control center is that much fast which you and i was not expecting and it's that much fast as it's a China closed beta, there are bugs. Let me show you the first bug in my list. And the first bug is sign in to your me account. I'm not able to sign in with my account. I've tried a lot of times, but I, I was not successful in this thing. So which means this could be the first bug. But let me just we'll show you the camera once. This one is the camera which you get pre-installed. This is a Mi Y12 camera. Finally, we got the new Mi 12 camera where you got the video mode, the photo mode, pro mode, where you can shot 48 megapixel photos. And it's the official build, which means it is fixed and almost everything is perfectly fine, including ultra wide, including the portrait mode. And when you go to more option, you had night mode, 48 megapixel, panorama, slow motion and some other things. Here you can edit these things, its features from here. And if we talk about some other things, wait, let me just show you. Just go here, just move on to settings. Here you have the option of choosing the watermark. You get the quick snap mode. You can also adjust the picture quality. You, here you can customize the feature layout. You can customize the camera modes. New camera modes are available, more tab or more panel, whichever you like, you can choose that one. And this looks perfect in my case, I'll choose this one. So just wait and here it is. This is how it feels and this is also a new change. So first of all, no lags, full speed and I have already shown you the bug also like signing into me account is not available for me. Talking about the Google Play services, obviously it's a China beta, so Google Play services are also not installed. You have to go to get apps and you can install those apps if you want to. Okay, so move on to some features. First of all, SIM cards, WLA and Bluetooth connection sharing, everything is fine. If you talk about the Bluetooth media, it's perfectly fine. It's official build obviously, which means it's fixed now and here you also get the option of always on display which you can enable but obviously it's not working for our device it's for emulate devices it's not working for us in display mode you get the dark mode option system font text size and font weight all the necessary features are available in control center notifications shade you get the control center new option like use new control center or show unlock screen and some status bar customization option like connection speed carrier when device is logged and at last you have the hide notch option which is perfectly fine here and that's a very interesting thing sound and vibration everything is fine all settings are almost same including sound effects these are available here too notification and at home screen you get this new option you can choose the classic option or you can choose with app drawer whichever suits you you can choose that one you also get the home screen search bar option and here you get the cells on uninstalled apps option home screen layout global icon animations and at last these normal things are here 
as MA account is not signing in so which means you cannot apply the themes I've tried to install themes but obviously that will not work because we don't have a me account available as you can see it will ask you to open your me account it's not working so unfortunately we have to wait for the next update for this fix and moving on to some other things it has all the necessary things password fingerprint face lock everything necessary is available here additional settings date and time language and input full screen display everything is just fine you got in developer options everything is just great this is a chinese beta you got the mi ai feature available here and in screen time the latest new screen time all the features you have already saw in all other my previous rooms previous videos and in special features it's a chinese video with the tap plus option kit space me a lab light mode and all other things like that so these were all the things which you get here so we'll move to the installation process for installation you need one file the rom file make sure you have a bootloader unlocked because you need unlocked bootloader you need custom recovery and this file you need meanwhile gingo 20.6.17 this is china close beta the link is in the description just go and check it out from there and after that you have to move on to the custom recovery so let's move on to the custom recovery right now so we are here at the custom recovery we are using orange fox custom recovery as you can see so first of all what you have to do is as i already told you must have a bootloader unlocked and orange fox custom recovery is recommended for you if you are using any other custom recovery that's your personal choice but i will recommend you to choose orange fox custom recovery just go to wipe section dalvik cat system vendor data all these five things just click on swipe to wipe it will take some time to swipe to wipe just wait for it to open and after that just go back and select the file which you have downloaded MIUI Gingo 20.6.17 Android version 10 so just click on swipe to install it will start installing and it will not take that much time just wait for the installation to finish after that reboot and you are good to go this was all and this is how you can install this on your device this was all from today's video i'll make an in-depth review very soon so this was all thanks for watching goodbye have a nice day